welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License. We're doing another part of How to Full Boyfriend. We're going to be doing the final achievement, I'll Be Waiting. And I think that's also going to unlock like, unlock, like the final, final one at the dawn. We'll see what happens. Okay, so let's go back to the game. So for this one to successfully unlock um, I'll Be Waiting achievement, you need to unlock most of the character endings. We've done that. Um, and then the option's going to appear to pursue the I'll Be Waiting achievement. Okay, we have seen that a few times. We just haven't clicked it yet. So we're going to choose the Fulfill the Promise prompt at the beginning and apparently this achievement somewhat broken so we need to like pursue a certain character so we're going to pursue Ryota and follow his steps perfectly um so we need to pay attention so we're going to do a new game okay we're going to do a new game and we're going to choose fulfill a promise yes enter our name now, i don't know if like things are going to actually be different go Yes, Karen Terry is okay. Yes, we want the human portraits. Okay, so let's scroll up and we'll do Ryota's. So I'm going to scroll up to hit the notes for him. <clears throat> okay, here we go. You can take this chance to fulfill a promise. We are going to fulfill a promise. Oh, this is already different. Is there anything you desire? I can grant whatever you wish. Tell me. A strange bird once said that. Who was that bird talking to? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, I'm like scared to fast forward to this. It's different. But so far, it's just Ryota's normal introduction. Yes, Ryota. No. Yeah. I feel like the intro is going to be the same. Yep. Okay, so far, it looks the same. I'm like, really going to fast forward. Yeah, I'm going to have a few minutes. We need him. it dang it and there's no rewind function in this freaking stupid game i gotta i gotta go back i gotta go back <sighs> okay i wish it had a rewind function there really isn't though okay let's try that again ah here we go i've had this stream a lot recently I can see a little house on the other side of the fence. I wonder who lives there. I don't think it's anyone I know. Ryota is next to me, and my parents are here too. We're all together again, but mom? Dad? Hey, wake up! Please! Oh no. Is that why, is that why we were talking about our parents? We're going insane. So I don't zoom past. Okay, so we're going to go to the cafeteria. And then we're supposed to just leave it to me during this scene. Or we just... Yeah, leave it to me! Then we're gonna choose at the little bamboo tree thingy. The funny. Where it's like, now the music. Like, the music doesn't sound like the funny, but now we're elective. Like, is that normal? Um, in Japan? Focus on. Which I wish for. I should wish for. world by force. Yep. And then we go thank you to him. There we go. Alright, we're gonna now. I do think like what we've done so far is like in the actual scenes that, are, that we've done before, they're not any different. Like I'm not seeing anything different. Um, but we have those little extra like interim things that come up. So I think we actually could have combined um doing this with the final route that we just did. Uh, possibly, like, I think you can combine doing this with whatever last route um you want to do. You don't have to do it separately. Like, I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm gonna go yell at the doctor. And then next um next prompt, I have to choose this to get it Yeah, he evil. He's super evil. So that's also why I think he was the best. You know, the angel. There's like evil one and angels right now too. Oh, that dream again. Ryota, my parents and me at a stranger's house. A strange bird who comes to me as a magician. 
He says he'll grant any wish that Ryota and I make. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day. Mmm, a wish. In my head, when we did the zombies route, I ended up with this cafe. I know that's explicitly what happened in the game, but that's what happened in my head. I think that's it. This route was not a romance, which was very interesting. Um, I don't really know why you don't get as much of a romantic um, ending with her as you do with some of the others. You know, it's explicitly romantic, or still 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 Oh, is this is different? It's a different color. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm late. I've been slow getting out before, but I've never slept through my alarm like this. Maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. Anyway, gotta go fast. Sorry, I'm late. This is, oh, this is so weird. Good morning, Koara. We were just about to sit down. Late on the second day, I expected of a feral. Now, now. Sir, where's Karen? Isn't she here? Apparently not. No wonder her kind died off. I knew humans died off. Where are you, Karen? Usually you'd be here early. You were late yesterday, and now this? I think we can... Wait, 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 what was his voice? I think we can start homeroom now. Today we'll do a little review on the history of bird kind. You wait until now to teach me that? What a pathetic country. Of course, everyone learned it years ago, but it's required for the second day of semester. Oh, wow, okay. Back when we birds were still beasts and pets, a virus known as AH5N1 appeared. At first, it only affected birds, but it underwent a mutation that spread to humans. This mutated strain was highly infectious and had an extremely high mortality rate. It became clear that it posed a threat to the survival of the human species. So the humans engineered a powerful virus to cull the birds and prevent AH5N1 becoming pandemic. In hindsight, it seems foolhardy and rash, but the world leaders of the time saw no better option. Except now the new virus didn't work. Infected birds didn't die. Rather, the birds grew in size and power, starting with doves. Oh, that's why so many of the characters are doves. That's why the doves make up the majority of professionally qualified workers today. Other birds, including quails like me, are still adapting to social life. Incidentally, I heard the first puffin in history to hold governorship was elected last month. Even cockapoos, who were once close to extinction, can now be toilet trained. As you know, the Prime Minister of Japan is a shoe bill. Anyway, the development of social intelligence in birds had a huge impact on their predators. Which leads me to the next point. Since their gambit failed, humans were left defenseless to AH5N1. Most died out. The few that were left now live peacefully with birds. Although, in the past, there were large conflicts. That's the bell. We'll vote on student council members in second period, so be on time. Karen never came. I hope she's okay. Maybe I should try calling her. Oh, wait, those are Ryota's lines, because I'm playing Ryota now. Okay, anyway. Kawara, do you have a minute? Uh, sure. We're supposed to get our print boxes today. Would you mind picking ours up? Our print box? Yep. It has the handouts and everything, since we don't have a council yet. Okay, is it in the faculty room, right? That's right. If you could have it back here before second period, please. Print box, print box. 
Inside the faculty office is a stack of cardboard boxes. These must be the ones. This one, this one maybe? I picked up the box marked 2-3. It's awfully heavy. I guess paper isn't exactly light when there's this much of it. Oh, thank you. Were you okay by yourself? It was a little heavier than I expected, but I was fine. Let's take a look inside then, just to make sure everything's there. Huh? Did you cut your wing, Cora? Cut my... I don't think so. It's bleeding. Huh? It is. Did I scratch myself on something? It doesn't hurt at all. No, this isn't my blood. What is that? There's blood leaking through the corner of the box. I feel sick. But I reach out and open the lid anyway. Inside the box is a human head. The eyes are glassy, but even like this, I still recognize her. She wasn't late. She was here all along. This is... It can't. <gasps> this is what happens during shoes. What? W what? Look away, Cora. Looking only hurts you. Uh. Emergency alert. Emergency alert. We have entered a state of emergency. All students, please evacuate to the gymnasium. Repeat, we have entered. Cuckoo? What's happening? Why is everything red? I don't know. Bah, until we know what's going on, there's nothing to do but follow instructions. What are you spacing out for, Kuara? Come on. N no, I, I don't want to leave Karen here alone. Get up, she's gone. That thing is no longer Terry. It can't be. Come. <laughs> oh my god. By the time we arrived, the gym was already crowded with students and teachers. No one seems to know what's going on, though. The gym echoes with ris whispered speculation. Hey, did you see the box? Yeah, you had that, too. Yep. Well, the class rep opened it and didn't see it, but apparently there was a human arm in it. Ours had half a leg. It was really gross. From the snatches of conversation I hear, it sounds like all the print boxes had a piece of human corpse in them. They were all piece were they all pieces of Karen, I wonder? Nobody seems particularly concerned, which isn't all that odd. It was grotesque, but it's not like it was a dead bird. Just some primate. Nunaki, this isn't something some idiotic disaster drill, is it? We're not supposed to have one until next month. Do you suppose it has something to do with that distasteful box? It was definitely Terry's. Bah won't someone explain this ridiculous state of affairs already? Yeah. Someone tell me what's going on. This is a bad dream, right? Someone wake me up. Someone. Oh, new bird. Is everyone here? This is Ichijomino, the headmaster. The headmaster? It seems we have all gathered together without panic or noise. Excellent. Unfortunately, there has been a natural disaster outside. This school is a designated evacuation site, so please remain here a little longer. Natural disaster. This is nonsense. The weather is perfectly clear. Whew. Okasan felt no earthquakes. It's not it's not like we're anywhere near a volcano or anything. I demand an explanation, Headmaster. Just what's going on outside? Does this have something to do with Terry Karen? Why have you all brought us here? I repeat, there has been a no imbecile. <coughs> The gymnasium erupts in whispered discussion once more. Well, that changed nothing. I still have no idea what's going on. Are you all right, Kawara? No, um, yes, I am. This could prove to be very bad for all of us. Could prove to be? It already is. Coo! Mr. Nanaki, Karen is missing. Coo! She must have run off somewhere. Okasan will go look for her. Son, no, she is, uh... Thon is an older breed, much closer to the pigeons of the human era. Maybe he doesn't understand the concept of death. Trying to explain would only hurt himself. The headmaster has proven entirely unhelpful. What should we do, Nanaki? Well, can't exactly carry on with class. I agree with Son. Let's go get Karen. 
calm yourself, Kawara. To relinquish your san sanity during a state of emergency is suicide. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Sir, we can't just leave her there like that. May I go back to the classroom just once? Well, the principal did ask us to remain here, but he didn't say we couldn't leave the gym now, did he? Mm. I'm coming with you. As the president of the student council, I have a responsibility to get to the bottom of this. Thanks, Sakia. Oh, thanks, Sakia. Don't flatter yourself. I'm not doing this for you. Terry was foolish, loud, and had no manners or sense, but she never deserved anything like this. I swear by my blood and my name as LaBelle, I will find the one who did this. You shall be my assistant. Come, Kawara. Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is insane. And so I exited the gymnasium in Sakuya's majestic wake. I want to know what happened to Karen. Who did that to her and why? Can the evacuation possibly have nothing to do with her? Why wouldn't the headmaster explain anything? My head was raging whirlpool of questions and no answers, and I did not yet know what we would find. What is this? A wall? A huge gray wall. What had been a clear autumn sky is now blocked off by dull gray. It's dark, almost like the sun has already gone down. A dome, rather. We appear to be shut in from above as well. What? When did they do this, and how? I don't think any of us was in full command of his faculties when he came this way. We can be certain that it wasn't already there. It does seem most likely that it was put in place while we were all in the gymnasium, listening to the headmaster, though. He did say that there was a natural disaster. Maybe this is some sort of shield. A disaster so destructive that nothing to be done but hide under an enormous gray blanket and wait? Maybe they didn't give the headmaster the details to avoid causing a panic? If that were the case, they would be robbing us of our right to know why our very lives are in danger. Is this really a shelter? Is there... Excuse me. Is there really a natural disaster? Either way, we don't know if there's a connection between what happened to Karen and all of this. Let's go to the classroom and then tell Mr. Nanaki about the dome thing. Very well. Holy shit, you guys. <clears throat> this looks like the other classes left theirs as well. They're at the teacher's desks. Is everyone else planning to stay in the gym? Japan is a country full of fools who have grown lazy through too much peace. I doubt anyone else has dared to take it upon themselves to investigate this matter. We're here. There it is. The box is still where I left it. Inside is... I can't. Sakia, I'm, I'm sorry. Could you... No better. What is this madness? Huh? There's... Nothing here. Huh? That can't be right. We left it right here. It's not like it got up and moved on its own, is it? Someone came and removed it while everyone was at the gym. This is... Life, not some third-rate mystery novel. Oh, who's that? Exactly, Sakuya. Yuya. Yuya. Salutations, Ryota. I see you're babysitting Sakuya. Do not throw my name about like some cheap toy mongrel. What? Wait, what was Yuya's voice? Was it like, how cruel? Usually, I can't blame you for being tense given the circumstances. I think he'd act like this regardless of the circumstances, Yuya. <laughs> I am sorry about her. It pains me to think what happened. His expression clouds. It's strange. I've never seen him with any expressions other than carefree cheerfulness before. You knew her for a long time, right? Yes. You know something about this, Yuya. Well, most of this business is still a mystery to me, but I can at least answer the questions we face right now. Whereabouts of the corpse? The whereabouts of the corpse, you mean? Yeah, that. As you said, this isn't some third-rate mystery novel. Corpses don't disappear, and we won't be having a famous detective show up and find the culprit for us. Anyway, the other infirmary assistants and I gathered her up in the chemistry lab. The chemistry lab? What for? For one, well, we couldn't just leave her scattered throughout the school, if only for the mental health of the students. Secondly, for the autopsy. 
As you know, we have two things going on here. The only human in the school was cut up and distributed to the rest of the school, and now there's some natural disaster happening. I imagine you're wondering if that isn't a connection between the two. We are, but we haven't found anything. What do you know? I told you, this is all mystery to me too. I suspect that we will have an easier time investigating the murder as long as we're sealed in like this though. The doctor should be proceeding with the autopsy by now. The doctor? Why him? You don't trust him? Of course not. I, I, I don't want to think about what he might do to her. He might even have... You suspect the doctor? Yes, everybody knows he's a nutcase. He probably killed her for some crazy experiment. He's an expert in the field. Who else here could perform the autopsy? But... I know where you're coming from, Ryota. He's not exactly the most ethically minded birdie around. That's why I asked Professor Nanaki to come too. He should be in there by now if you want to go make sure. All right, we'll go later. So Karen has been gathered in the chemistry lab and the doctor and Mr. Nanaki are examining her now. Mr. Nanaki might not be the best witness, but he's a better one than no one, right? We all know where the corpse went then, but why are you here? Me? I'm investigating, under my own orders, of course. Playing detective mongrel. That and I have to make sure we didn't miss any pieces. Anyway, what are you two going to do now? Personally, I think the murder and evacuation are almost certainly connected. I am inclined to agree. The headmaster's refusal to explain our situation makes me doubt his story in its entirety. Indeed, so Ryota. Yeah? I know how you feel. You want to find the one who did this to Karen as soon as possible, right? Yes. Okay, Karen? Gone for a moment and suddenly she was turned into this. Who did that to her? I'll find them and I'll... I'm gonna find the culprit and I'll... I'll... I've never felt this emotion before, but now I feel nothing else. When I find that bird, I'll... My thoughts exactly. Unfortunately, this school's a mess, and we won't find anything by chasing after her shadow. You think we should try to solve both mysteries at once, whenever possible. Of course, the wall could just be there because of some natural disaster. That's about all I have to say. Hmm. <laughs> we don't need your advice from the start. You are nothing but talk anyway, mongrel. Thanks, Yuya. We'll do our best to help. Oh, one other thing. You might want to talk to one in the maintenance office. Tell him I sent you. You mean the antisocial cockatiel dandy everybody hates? Yep, him. Don't worry, he's a good guy. He'll be able to help you, and you might find something useful in there. Well, that's it for the talky mongrel. Adieu. He saunters off towards the staircase. What a dreadfully obnoxious man. I thought he'd never shut up. He gave us some good advice, right? We should be grateful. Anyway, I don't think we'll find anything else here. Indeed. Mm, where should we head next? I doubt we would go amiss by visiting the lab, the maintenance office, or by investigating the wall outside. Right. Let's go to the office first. Maybe this one guy will help us. The maintenance office. In other words, the repairman shop. I doubt we will find anything useful here. Yuya said... Oh, you you said to go, right? I doubt the integrity of his advice. Jeez, is there anything to say about your own brother? You should be nicer to your family. My family? Do you mock me? That filthy-blooded mongrel has no relation to me. Whoa, calm down. I guess his elitism is still running business as usual. We don't have time to waste. We should hurry. The maintenance room is in the corner of the main building on the ground floor, right? She was going to come in. I just know it. Like, it's going to be some... It is going to be some bullshit with him. Excuse us. What's this? This doesn't look very educational. The handyman pretty much lives in here, I think. Oh, this guy needs a voice, too. A dove and one more. Mr. One, hello. What are you doing here? Didn't you hear the alarm? I'm Ryota, and this is Sakuya. We got permission from our teacher to investigate the building. Didn't you hear the alarm? 
No panic, no noise, and no leaving. That's what I do here. Whoa, somehow he seems really cool. You mean you're lazy to go to the gymnasium? Don't worry about me. You two go ahead and find your class there. No, or not. Do you mean to interfere with us, wretched fool? Um, Yuya said we should ask you for help. Sakazaki Yuya? Yes, him. We decided to honor his request by coming all the way over here. You intend to stop us now? Sakia, where the heck are your manners? Sorry, he transferred from overseas and his Japanese isn't too great. He certainly has more bark, and I imagine he has bite. Very well, come in. What did you say you gentlemen were investigating? Two things. The murder of Terry Karen and the mysterious wall outside. You've been in here the whole time, right? Do you know what he's talking about? Yes, I got an idea of him, of it, from Mr. Sakazaki. In other words, you know only what you've heard from that mongrel. Useless. I know plenty about the school itself, though. My job is to take care of the entire campus. Maybe you know what the big gray wall outside is, then. Nope. Useless wretch! Sakia, calm down. Though I'm not sure there's anything we can learn here right now. Oh, wait! Mr. One, could we use your computer? Maybe we can find out what's going on outside. Sadly not. Everything's been cut off since this morning. Even the telephone wires. Uh, this is too thorough. I can't think of any reason why they need to cut off communication systems if we're in some sort of storm protection. This has been a wild goose chase, then. A complete waste of time. Let us go, Kawara. Wait, I have a bright and massive piece of advice for you. Bright and massive? What? If you get stuck, try the headmaster's office. I've been almost everywhere in the school, but never there. You might be able to find something out about the wall if you check it there. Of course, the headmaster did not speak to us in person in the gym. He was broadcasting from his office. Then he might still be there. Asking him certainly, certainly seems like the best way to get some solid information. We should try that. If you need a break later on, feel free to come back here and rest. Anyone Mr. Sakazaki sent is trustworthy. I'll get you some notes. If you find anything, you can come write it down. You never know what could happen in a situation like this, and you don't want to forget anything. Thank you, Mr. One. We can come back here later. For now, we should check the lab or the wall. After those two, we can try for the headmaster's office. Go to... Oh, does it matter? Wait a second. Scroll back down to it. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. We pick just one and then we pick the other. So we'll go to the lab. Excuse us. It's always been one of the gloomier parts of the school, but today the lab is downright depressing. Hello, Kawara. Sir, thank you for being with Karen now. Of course. Sakazaki came and asked me to come right after you two left the gym. He must have gone past. How unfortunate. The doctor is lining up pieces of Karen in up on one of the lab benches. Ah, I knew Shu. Okay, time to do Shu. Must you glower at me so, Mr. Kawara? I'm not glowering at you. Do you disapprove of my handling here? He gives me the evil smile. No, that's not it. I just wish we had a doctor who wasn't this malicious. Are you finding anything, Dr. Iwamane? No, not yet. I only just finished assembling her. It will take some time. I will send word to you when I've finished. Perhaps you have something else you'd like to do while you wait. Very well, we shall not interfere. Come, Kawara. Right. Oh, Mr. Kawara, a moment, please. Yes? Hmm. Allow me to give you a hint. A hint? You suspect me of foul play, do you not? In light of that, I shall leave it up to you whether you decide to believe me or not. Anyway, I think you have missed something very important. Huh? One might say that you've forgotten something. Perhaps you should bear that in mind, hmm? 
You're just a little bit off, but I'm sure you'll find the answer yourself if you keep looking. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Isn't it beautiful, Mr. Kawara? The sound of your life crumbling apart around you. Huh? I take it it does not suit your taste very well. He was rather fond of the unusual himself. A pity. He? Well, then, you can handle the outside investigation, and I, the internal. Ho, 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 ho. Good luck, Mr. Kawara. Right. Thanks, doctor. That was fucking weird. What does Ryota have to do with it? He's definitely enjoying himself. What a psycho. What did he mean when he said I was missing something? Or maybe he was just trying to lead me astray. Better not to worry about it for the time being. What are you talking with Kawara about, doctor? Nothing important. I was just giving him a little emotional support and encouragement. I see. That's good then. I'm sure you'll remember not to cause any trouble for my students, doctor. Okay, the fuck. When we step outside once more, the gray dome remains blocking out the morning sky. Mm, let's go get a closer look at it. We can't see much from over here. Indeed. Iron, maybe. It's quite firm at any rate. Maybe it has some sort of shelter. Mm, my phone's out of range. Maybe this wall is blocking the signal. That seems likely. <coughs> Oh, they were hitting him. It sound it sounds thick and dense. Trying to break a hole in it will not be practical. Maybe there's an emergency exit or something. We should check. We still don't know whether or not we are completely sealed in after all. Right. Let's walk around the perimeter. Doesn't look like there's any doors or anything. Indeed. It appears to be identical all the way around. Do you suppose it is ventilated? I can't say I fancy the prospect of suffocating under this thing without even knowing why it's here. I'd ra- Oh, this is Ryota now. I'd rather an emergency shelter would have some sort of airflow built in, yeah. If not, then we're in deep trouble. Hmm. What are you looking at? Up there. Is there some sort of hatchway? He points upwards. Ah! Yes, there is. He's right. About 20 meters up, there's a joint or something of a different color. That does look like it might lead outside. Let's go look. Her purse. They could have just flown up in the beginning, but I guess they wanted to walk around first. I don't see any sort of latch. Can we open it by hand? Mm, yeah, maybe there's a switch or something somewhere. It does not seem like we can do anything here now. Let us remember its location and return later. I don't like to think about it, but if there really is such a terrible disaster out there, and this is the only option, maybe we should better leave it shut anyway. Indeed. Let's move on. We still don't know what's going on outside. I've got enough of my mind just keep... I've got enough on my mind just thinking about Karen, but I'm worried about my family outside, too. I hope my mother's okay. I suppose we finished the first stage of investigation now. Yeah, we've got a better idea of the situation, I guess. The doctor's working in the lab. The gray dome covers the entire school, but for one small hatch. And we can use the maintenance office as a base. Mr. One did say... Indeed. He suggested we visit the headmaster's office. Yeah, it's on the first floor. Let's go. Okay, let's see what nonsense is going on in there. Holy shnikes. And master, sir. Are you within? We demand entry. Rude, even to the headmaster. I wonder if the doctor is the only person in the entire school he actually respects. No reply. Let's go in. Wait, Sakia, that's... Hmm. It's locked. Bah! Where is that old geezer? Maybe he's pretending to be out so we'll go away? Indeed. He never was the type to walk around campus. Or perhaps he has locked the door from the inside and plans to stay inside until the siege lets up. Should we wait around? We have no time for such frivolities. We shall enter this room if it means reducing the door to a miserable pile of splinters. It's the headmaster's door. I don't think it will be easy to break down. Hmm. You speak the truth. Let us ask Nanaki if there isn't a key to open it from the outside. Yeah, we can head back to the... What 
does it come on? I think... I thought I heard something. I hear nothing. Perhaps you are imagining things. Like something being dragged across the floor. Listen, there it is again, behind! <laughs> There's about to be a jump scare. Suddenly behind us stood a gigantic scarecrow-like creature with a rough burlap sack for a head. The fuck. What the fuck? Second class. What in the... Scarecrow man draws closer, dragging its long, ungainly metallic arm behind it. Saki, watch out! Its arm slices through the air, smashing the window into tiny shards which shatter across the hallway floor. We don't know what it is, but it apparently isn't friendly. Saki, we have to run! I am well aware! <sighs> Did we lose it? I think so. Lucky it moves so slowly. What was that? Surely no one could devise a prank as bizarre as that. It looks like a biped. It was a humanoid, but I don't think it was a human. I've never heard of a human made of metal and burlap. A murder. The dome. And now this. I know not who is behind these trickeries, but they must have a death wish to mock me so. For now, we have to get back to the lab. We need to warn Mr. Nanaki. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, welcome back, Kawara Shirogane. Would you like some tea? Is this really the time? We cannot afford to relax now, Professor. Mm, so I take it something happened. Uh, the headmaster. He must have been hiding from the scarecrow. It smashed the window. Calm yourself, Kawara. You become incoherent. Sorry. We were attacked by a giant creature outside the headmaster's office. It was a bizarre thing, like a scarecrow in appearance. Scarecrow? Yeah. Yeah. Like the ones humans used to make. It attacked us, and we ran back here. It was slow, but its arm was heavy and dangerous. Are the other students still in the gymnasium? Probably not all of them. If there's something dangerous in here, we should probably tell every birdie to stay together in the gym. Yeah. The plot thickens indeed. Not only are we trapped under this confounded dome, but now it seems we must contend with the monstrous new de guest. I wonder what the Scarecrow Man's connection is to all of this. A Scarecrow Man, you say? Doctor! Fascinating. I've never cut them one of those. I'd love to get my hands on it. Ho 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 Have you finished the autopsy, Doctor? Yes, for now. I was aware. I was awake here this whole time. Don't worry. Sure you were, sir. Thank you, Mr. Nanaki. Hmm. You two may well have the right to know what I've found, given your efforts towards the investigation. I shall try to state simply and briefly what I have learned from the lumps of meat that were once Miss Terry. Uh. Control yourself, Kawara. Falling out among ourselves could only do us harm. I know. Ho ho ho. Anyway, we lack the tools for proper examination, but the cause of death was asphyxiation. There's no signs of strangulation or smothering, so it was either poisonous or sick. She was dismembered after death then, Doctor. It would appear so. There was little evidence of bleeding, so we may assume that she was cut up sometime after death. Karen was one of the healthiest people I know. She couldn't have become that sick quickly, meaning someone poisoned her. Why? For the sake of the grotesque. Or to make her easy to carry, or for some other reason. Disgusting either way. I suppose I should tell you the estimated time of death. Obviously, I cannot be completely certain, but I believe that Miss Terry died yesterday, after school. In the evening, then. Oh. In the evening, then. Precisely. And she was found this morning. In other words, unless she was seen yesterday afternoon, she may have been here all along. Hawara, her house was near yours, was it not? Did you see her yesterday? After school. Um, 
No, I didn't. My mother asked me to run some errands, so I went straight home yesterday. That's right, I went home alone. It was too late to regret it now, but maybe if I just asked her to walk home with me. I see. Perhaps we should ask any other students with whom she was close. You're going out again? Be careful, it sounds like wandering around the school could be dangerous. Don't worry, we can outrun the scarecrow if it shows up again. Incidentally, I went home early yesterday too. I left as soon as class ended, so I only know what Ryota's told me. I wish I had some useful information, but... I was in the infirmary right up until I headed home. As usual, I know nothing of what happened the rest of the day at school, sadly. So neither Mr. Nanaki nor Dr. Iwamine saw Karen yesterday afternoon. All right. Could we ask a favor of you, Mr. Nanaki? A favor? The headmaster's office is locked. We think he might be hiding in there. If there's a spare key to his door, could we use it? A spare key? Mm, yes, there should be one in the faculty room. I'll ask the vice principal for you. Thank you, sir. We'll be back soon. Be careful out there. You too, sir. Holy shit. This is like a whole, this is like a whole like long ending. I really was not expecting all of this. Laura, what a strange boy. I wonder why he lied about going straight home. What? What? We won't be able to talk to the headmaster until we have the key. Let us work on the murder case till then. Right, we should ask every birdie where they were yesterday. The doctor said he was in the infirmary until he went home. I wonder if we can trust him. Do not bias yourself. Oh, that was Kawara's line. <sighs> Do not bias yourself with baseless suspicion, Kawara. Yeah, I know. I think maybe you trust him a little too easily, Sakia. He's a world authority, but that doesn't make him honest. You know nothing of what that means. The head of the LaBelle family, my father, was once crippled with chronic illness. He was cured by medicine developed under Dr. Iwamine. He makes medicine? Save the sleep talk for your dreams. You have no idea what contributions he's made to the medical world. I, I didn't know. I thought he was some kind of mad scientist cooking up nothing but death and all around woe. You have become biased by the foolish rumors of peasantry. Reconsider yourself. In any case, the Bell family was indebted to him. A noble bird will never treat a benefactor with disrespect. That's why he's so polite to the doctor. Doesn't that make him biased as well, though? Anyway, let's go. Very well. We're gonna go to. I guess it's a similar thing. Let's go to the gymnasium first. The students in the gymnasium have grown somewhat restless since the evacuation. Shut up with no explanation, and now there's a suspicious individual wandering the campus. I guess even doves lose their cool eventually. San, San, where are you? Cool! Okasan is right here, alive and well so far. Cuckoo! Where did you and Sakuya go? Leaving Okasan behind and going outside is not fair. You just con oh, you just confused the issue if we brought you along. We came back because we had questions for you. Ooh, come at me, whippersnapper. Uh, that's not what I. You usually practice on the ground after school, right? Cuckoo! Of course, it is Okasan's duty as track captain. Did you see Karen while you were out yesterday? No, Okasan did not see her then, or as he was going home. Can we really be sure that he would have noticed her, even if she had been there while he was running? Good point. Cuckoo! Do not look down on Okasan's visual memory. Coo! If you had asked Okasan about the bloodstain interloper he saw, when, then he would have had something to say. Hmm? What? Oh, wait, San, what did you just. Cuckoo! Do not look down on Okasan's visual memory. After that, imbecile. Coo! <laughs> if you had asked Okasan about the bloodstained interloper he saw, then he would have had something to say. Cuckoo! <laughs> Okasan saw the interloper go into the infirmary. The infirmary? Would that have been Karen? She, she wouldn't have stained with blood until after she died. She was a bit hyper, but I don't think she'd be walking around at that point. Coo! It was not Karen. It was a bird unknown to Okasan. If someone covered in blood was going to the infirmary after school. Who's in... Whoever he is, he's our prime suspect now. Thanks for telling us, son. Oh my god. Literally some random bird they've never met murdered me. At least we found something. Even if it raises more questions than it answers. 
Yeah. Some birdie who San doesn't know. Could have been someone from outside the school. It's past noon already. Let's hurry onwards. Oh my god. Mr. One? You two again. Come in. How goes the investigation? Well, I hope. We went to the headmaster's office as you requested. It was locked, however. Yeah, we got attacked by a weird thing outside there. I'm glad you're okay. The office isn't that far from... Oh, this is Yuya. What was the thing? A muddy scarecrow-like man, perhaps? Yuya. So you've seen it too. Just now, yeah, on the second floor. I caught a glimpse of it from behind the other end of the corridor and didn't stick around to let it see me. So alas, I was not blessed with a look at its pretty face. Coward. Hey, we ran away as soon as we saw it too. Anyway, it sounded like it's wandering around the building. Maybe it would be better for you to leave, Mr. One. Don't worry for me, young one. My duties prevent me from leaving this room. You two aren't planning to call off the investigation because of the bad guy or two either. Well, yeah, that's true. Hmm. Already stuck in a rut of unadaptable middle age. Don't come crying to us if you get hurt. I've come within touching distance of death in the past. I will be fine. I wonder what kind of death comes that close to a maintenance worker. Then again, knowing this school, there could be all kinds of evil going on behind the scenes. And aren't maintenance workers one of the more dangerous jobs? I would think, like, you're exposed to a lot of chemicals all the time and dangerous tools and things like that. So, yeah, I would think it could be kind of dangerous. I feel like the music's a little bit loud. It wasn't so loud before. Well, then, what are you standing around for? I believe orders were given for everyone to gather in the gymnasium to avoid the scarecrow. Same goes for you. Why aren't you headed over there? Ugh. I can't just sit around. Indeed, same here. Hence, walking around the school. On that note, I better go to the lab. Professor Nanaki wanted me there. What for? Something you asked him to do. Oh. Ah, uh, he wants you to help him keep an eye on Dr. Iwamine. Most likely, yes. The doctor and Karen, that is. Anyway, you two go on with your investigation. I'll be watching over here, so don't worry. Right. Wait. Yeah? According to the autopsy, Terry died after school yesterday. Did you see her during that time? Yesterday evening, huh? What'd the doctor say? Just that he'd been in the infirmary all day. I was there too. We were inspecting and cleaning all day, so I can verify the doctor's alibi. I told you not to doubt him without evidence, Kwa. Uh, right. At this point, the prime suspect is that scarecrow anyway. That everything? Well, adieu! We should head out, too. But let's first write down what we found. All right, let's go. And so we walked about the school, searching for clues of Karen and the mysterious bloodstained stranger. We were lucky enough to avoid encountering the scarecrow, but we didn't find any information, either. What? Where to now? Hmm, Nanaki has probably gotten the key for us by now. Let us return to the lab. Okay. Huh? What is it? Did you say something just now? I did not. Could it be that confounded scarecrow again? No, it's not him. I thought I heard somebody say something. Bah, don't scare me like that. Though I've been walking around half the day, it's hardly surprising that your mind should be playing tricks on you. This is library? What if there's some birdie in here? They might not have heard the alarm. Let's check. Very well. Far removed from the emergency throughout the rest of the school, the library is the same as always. Empty. It's a little gloomier than usual. Guess there's no one here. Pull yourself together, Kawa. We have no use for subordinates who hold on off their sanity. Since one of my so your, your subordinate. Sorry, Zakia. Let's get back to the lab. Why did they just randomly go in the library? Oh, it's Nageki! Something... Something bad happened. I should have known what would happen after this. If it hadn't been for me, none of it would have happened at all. What was I trying to do here? What did I see? Why can't I remember? I can hear... What are you saying? You're fading away. Too far. Miss Terry.
Mr. Nanaki. Welcome back. Have you found anything interesting? Yet another suspicious individual. But we should speak with the headmaster first. Have you gotten the key? Yes, I have, right here. Thank you, sir. Well, let's go have a look, shall we? The doctor and I will be here. Be careful. Adieu. What does the ghost have to do with this? Clear left. Clear right. Good. Doesn't look like the scarecrow is here. That's good. If I had to fly away from something like that, I might panic and hit the ceiling. All right. Quail's reflexes when startled is to fly straight up. <laughs> we should hear it dragging its arm when it moves, so we'll have plenty of time to get away. Let's go in. Right, let's go. Let's see. The headmaster, who gathered us all in the gym without any real explanation, how many of our questions will he be able to answer? Excuse us. Maybe he's not here? Hmm. That or hiding. There's somebody at the desk, He's sitting with his back to us, but his feathers are the unmistakable green of a nicobar. Speak to us, headmaster. Have you gone deaf? Sakia, be polite. Japan is a country of courtesy, after all. This is his fault or mine that we had to come here. Headmaster, will you... Th this... Sakia? <laughs> is no longer the headmaster. His half-closed eyes are dull and cloudy. The skin showing beneath his feathers is pallid. W what This madness! Him too. What? How many classes are there? Oh, it's a... <gasps> Poisoning. Only a few hours ago. I believe he was already dead when the announcement was broadcasted this morning, though. I checked the, his broadcasting equipment, and it looks like they put the video together from last year's disaster drill footage. Meaning some birdie killed the headmaster and gathered everyone else in the gym. Why would anyone... There's no explanation, but mere obscene delight in the grotesque. I think that may we all be maybe vastly underestimating the magnitude of whatever's going on. It might be better if we kept this to ourselves for now. I concur. Until we have a proper grasp of the situation, telling others would only cause unnecessary panic. First Karen and now the headmaster, both poisoned. Were they killed by the same person? Great, this has become Birdo murder mystery time. I I'm dead. I'm dead and the POV character is Ryota now. Um, yep, I, I literally got chopped up. Yeah, my body got chopped up and delivered in various boxes to various classrooms. So, um, yeah. More rationally, they must have had a reason for killing him and fabricating the broadcast. This must be connected to the quarantine. Since we're finally here, let us search for some clues, Kawara. Right. Easier said than done. Every shelf in his office is piled high with documents and papers. Where do we even start? Incompetent feral. Examine each piece one at a time, looking for anything about emergency procedures, plans of the school. Got it. Yeah, this game is insane. This game is absolutely insane. ETA records, that's not it. Demographics for dummies, no. Transfer students, wait. Next to that is a human representative? That must mean Karen. And the date is from two years ago, right before she enrolled. It's not really related to today's incidents, but it might have something useful. Yeah, this is um, the final achievement, apparently. I think there's one more, but I think the last achievement is actually like just getting all the achievements. So I think I'll get both when I finish this, um, if I understand the guide correctly. There doesn't appear to be anything about converting the school into a shelter. Anything this large scale would have to leave some sort of paper trail, word official. Hang on, Sakia. 
What are you reading, Kawara? This? The human representative. It's blocked, even though none of the others are. A minority representative is no more important than a transfer student or the like. There's no need to have it sealed up like a criminal record. I wonder why it's written in here. We can't exactly ask the headmaster to open it for us. I don't suppose the key is in here somewhere? Maybe we should ask Mr. One for help. You intend to break it open? Yeah, it'll be faster than looking around for the key. And... That, I was wondering about it as well. That thing on his desk, some sort of control panel. Whatever it is, it's suspicious. I believe it is a control panel for some machine, yes. And spread out next to it is... The dome. Maybe this is the controls for the dome, or the hatch we saw earlier. One did postulate that it could be in here. Locked, of course. I doubt we'll find it easy to break into one. Yeah. All the same, we have some actual hope of getting out of here now. Even just that is comforting. Let's go talk to Mr. One. I think we've exhausted the possibilities of this room for the time being. Let us go. Oh, um, Wraith, I can explain it, um, when we're done with, a uh, Hato Full Boyfriend. You can also find more about it, uh, in this document. Mr. Kawara. Yes, sir? Ho, ho, ho. I see you've yet to lose your open distrust of me. Well, two people have been poisoned, and we have evidence that the perpetrator went into the infirmary. It's sort of hard not to doubt you a little, sir. Not too hard for Sokka, you, though. How honest of you. Did you find it yet? The thing you forgot about? The thing I forgot about? He must be talking about what he said earlier. No? I'm not convinced you're not just trying to mess with me. Are you sure you're not trying to keep me from finding something you thought nobody knew about? How cruel, Mr. Kawara. Your boundless suspicion wounds me. He doesn't look wounded at all. More like amused. I have no reason to regret you're solving this mystery, Mr. Kawara. Let me give you another hint. There are no riddles here. If you want to find the truth, you need to keep going. You need not use your brain at all. What are you talking about? No riddles. Wait, not that's... You mean to say that you know the truth already? Well, who knows? If you do, tell me. I told you. You need to keep going. Everything here is a plot that was laid out. Just for you, after all. Just for me? I guess, is he saying it's a game? <laughs> How long must you babble, Kawara? Come! Sorry. I take it... This is a challenge, Doctor. Hmm. You may take it that way if you wish. I swear, I will find the... Oh, this is Ryota's line. I swear, I will find the truth. And if I find you killed Karen... <laughs> Oh, I do look forward to seeing what sort of answer you find. Did Ryota really kill her? Mr. One? You two again. What is it? We explained to Mr. One what we found in the headmaster's office. The plot thickens, I see. We think this file may be connected to the mystery. Can you unlock it? Or break it? Let me s Let me see. Mm, this will be rather troublesome. It's just a lock, right? Forcing it will result in spontaneous combustion. What? Why would they put something like that on a bunch of ordinary documents? Perhaps because these documents are not ordinary. All the same. I have dealt with similar things in the past. It will take time, but I believe I can open it. Though defusing bombs falls under maintenance operations. Do not forget, I am not just a maintenance worker. I am a bright and massive maintenance worker. What does that have to do with anything? So a maintenance worker in Japan requires a number of skills. I am impressed. Uh, I think Mr. One is the only... Oh, right. Can we ask you one more thing? You may. We found a control panel that looks like it's for the dome as well, but it's locked. It seems to require a password. A password? Mmm. Ask Mr. Zakazaki for help. Do ya? He is the master of unauthorized access. That wretched mongrel has lowered himself to crime. I never knew he could. Sakia, 
just let it go. We need help here. I shall take care of this folder then. I can't say for sure, but it should be done by the time you and Mr. Sakazaki get back. All right. Thanks. Yes, this is a parakeet. And we really only talked to him in one other plot line. So he, that, he's really heavily featured in this um, this kind of like ending plot line, though. We should probably write all this down since we're here. Where is Yuya right now? Either in the lab or possibly gallivanting around like a nincompoop. This would be a lot easier if we could use our phones, but we can't. Off to the lab. Here we are. I wonder if he's still in there. As we turn the corner. Scarecrow? Scarecrow. <gasps> Knew it. The Scarecrow Man blocks your path. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, the <laughs> Zaki, you run. Uh, uh, <laughs> Don't order me around, Feral! Oh my god. We lost it. Right? Oh, shoot. Sakuya and I must have run in different directions. I hope he's okay. Of all the times to run into that thing again, if it's lying in wait for us like that, we can't rely on the noise of its arm to find it. And the dome makes this building dark, so it's hard to see. I'd better be careful. Where is it now? I want to head straight to the lab, but... Uh, I just hear something. Oh my gosh, here he is! What are you doing here all alone? Did you see the walls outside? There's been an emergency and everybody's supposed to gather in the gym. You should... You're... Kawara Ryota. Uh... He knows my name. Have I met him somewhere before? Yeah, uh... Have we met before? The unfamiliar morning dove shakes his head. This is the first time we've spoken. Then why do you know my name? She told me. Miss Terry. Karen. Oh, right. Didn't she say she made friends with a freshman who's in the library all the time? Can I ask your name? Fujishiro Nageki. You were friends with Karen, then? Um, did you maybe see her after school yesterday? She was acting strange and all, or... Oh, shoot. He didn't hear the emergency broadcast, so he probably doesn't know what happened to her either. Um, she's... Don't worry about it. You don't have to explain again. Huh? I already know. Oh. She washed up here and spoke to me. Which can only mean one thing. She's dead doesn't exactly make things easy to understand. Almost as if he's talking to himself and doesn't care whether or not his interlocutor knows what he means. She washed up here. Do you mean yesterday? If you know anything about what happened to her last night, please tell me. I do not. Miss Terry did not come to the library after school yesterday. Mm, so she didn't come here either. Thanks. I need to hurry back to the chemistry lab and you should probably get out of here too. There's a suspicious individual in the building. It was not yesterday that Miss Terry came here. It was just now. What? Yes, Ryota doesn't know he's a ghost. He's gone. The morning dove who I just spoke to has disappeared. Did he go to the gym? I hope so. I don't really want to consider the possibility, but maybe Sakuya's is right. Maybe I'm going crazy. I have to last long enough to find the killer. You're late, Kawara. Blasted feral doves. Saka, you're you safe. He was pretty worried about you, Ryota. He couldn't sit still the entire time you were gone. Oh wait, that was that was not. It was supposed to be Yuya's voice. Oops. Silence, mongrel. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry for worrying you, Sakuya. Anyway, Sakuya, fill me in on your adventures. You want me to hack into the headmaster's computer? Can you do it? Naturally. Just leave it to me. Come on, let's go. Oh, welcome back, Kawara. Sir, about this control panel. What about it? Can't you tell? It must be the controls for the dome. 
Right, I suppose it could be. It's locked, though. We're gonna have... We're going to have Yuya get into it for us, but... That's illegal, you know. It doesn't matter. Don't you comprehend our situation? I never said you shouldn't do it. We don't have much of a choice, do we? Go on. Thank you, sir. Well, having Mr. Nanaki's approval certainly helps my conscience. Let's see. He wakes up the computer, and before long, I have no idea what he's doing to it. Wow, I wonder where he learned how to do that. I imagine he spends his spare time stealing X-rated videos off the intertubes. X-rated videos can teach someone how to do this sort of thing. Maybe I should watch more of them. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. There we go. Now then. There. We're logged in as the administrator now. Woo! Hmm. This only has an open and close button. I guess it's pretty straightforward. Well, leave the rest of this to you. I'll leave the rest of this to you two. If we press this button, either the dome itself or the hatch will probably open. But with the headmaster dead, we have no way of knowing what's happening outside. If there really is some terrible disaster, then opening the dome could put everyone in danger. I wonder if mom's at home. I hope she's okay. I want to I want to save. I feel like it's going to give me some kind of choice that's going to matter. There's a dangerous individual wandering the premise and the bird is in, char in charge is dead. I think it would be wise to open the dome now. That's true. We did get you get to help in everything. We should. Okay. We're definitely going to open it. Okay, we can come back and leave it closed again and see what happens. Let's open it. We need to get everyone out of here. Agreed. We can confirm once and for all that the talk of disaster was nonsense. Escape hatch opened. I guess it's not for the whole dome? No matter. All we need to do is go and look outside. Just having the hatch open is better anyway, in case there really is a storm or something out there. The escape hatch will close automatically in 15 minutes. To reopen it, please reboot and try again. It closes on its own? That seems like a risky design. Fifteen minutes isn't going to be enough to get everyone out. Let's go out and take a look before it closes. We're going outside again, Mr. Nanaki. If it's safe, we'll organize evacuation in the gym. Mm, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll come too. Sakazaki. Sakazaki, doctor, what will you two do? Hmm, well, I don't have any more business here. I shall return to the lab. Leaving Karen alone with another man would hardly be gentlemanly, so I'll go with the doctor. Well then, let's go, Kawara, Shirogane. Very well. Yep. Oh god. Okay. Where was that hatch? Have you eyes or pickled onions? Right there. Mm, pickled onion sounds delicious. The hatch high above the ground is open. Looks like the control panel worked. Mmm, I think every birdie should be able to fly up to that. It's a little narrow, so we'll have to go two or three at a time. But outside... Yeah. It's perfectly clear. We can only see the sky, but there's no storm or gale. Nothing but the same calm autumn sky from the morning. No earthquake, no typhoon. And the announcement video was a fake. I think it's safest to assume that the whole thing was a lie. I am curious about the state of things out there, but the door closes on its own, so we had best think carefully before going out. We can't see the city at all. We don't really know what going, what's going on out there, if anything. But if there's really no disaster, and this is all some plot surrounding Terry's death, then we need more clues. I'll go. Are you sure? We have no guarantee that it's safe. It isn't safe here either. Look, the hatch is open. It is. We can go home. No, you're supposed to be in the gym. You shouldn't go out yet. Like heck, we're sticking around with nothing but bogus explanations from earlier. I can't wait any longer. I'm going out. Wait, come back. Come back at once. We don't know if it's safe out there yet. Ah! <gasps> A gunshot? We have to go help him. Calm down, Kawara. You only get yourself shot as well. But... What the fuck? As if to laugh at my shock, 
The hatch gives an unpleasant rumble and swings shut. He was shot. As soon as he went out, someone on the other side shot him. It's not a natural disaster. If we go out, we get killed. But why? Oh, God. Fourth class. Aaron's corpse delivered without warning throughout the school, the students gathered without explanation in the gym, the headmaster appearing on screen to announce an emergency situation and then turning up dead, the gray dome enclosing the school, the scarecrow appearing for no apparent reason in the sealed-off building, and now, the students shot dead if they try to escape. What's going on outside? How humiliating. It would seem that things are worse than ever expected. If only I'd stopped him. There's nothing that we, there's nothing we could, could do that we didn't, Kawara. The last thing you need to do is start mourning what we've lost. You don't intend to give up now, do you? No, I'm fine. We have to keep going. I think we should keep quiet about this to everyone in the gym. We can explain it to them after we've figured out what to do. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. One of our, our one chance to escape turns out to be a one-way ticket across the sticks. There's nothing we can do but search for clues inside the school. Where shall we go next? Let's go back to the maintenance office. Mr. One might have the file open. Very well. Right, Lunar? I'm like, my mind is blown. We return to the maintenance office and explain what outs explain what happened outside to Mr. One. I see. It seems that our worst predictions have come to bear the evil fruit. Our worst predictions? Do you know something? We can predict things without knowing that they will happen. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Confusing predictions with one reality can be fatal, young one. I've been wondering for a while. Uh, Mr. One, are you really just a maintenance worker? Obviously not, Ryota. Come on. Mm. An innocent student was shot. I suppose it's time I introduce myself properly. Leon J.B. I am Leon J.B., one of the great soaring wings of the Dove Party. S-Class agent, pleased to meet you. The, the Dove Party? He looks like a cockatiel to me. No, it's a political party. We learned this before. I have heard of the Dove Party, the secret organization that act advocates living in harmony with humans, correct? You are well informed, young one. Hmm, is it a noble's it is a noble's duty to be well informed. I feel like I must have missed something. There are two schools of thought living in the politics of today. The Dove Party, who we believe should live peacefully with humans, and the Hawk Party, who believe we should exterminate them. Exterminate? But I thought the war with humans was over. Do you really believe that every birdie just decided to live happy, happily together? Sadly, that is not how the world works. There are still many disagreements between birds and humans, and so the hawks and doves have come to war. We discovered hawk activities at the school, and so I was dispatched to investigate. And what we feared would happen has happened. Wait a minute, are you saying the hawk party has something to do with St. Pigeonations? It seems hard to believe the school is known for intolerant is known for its tolerant policies towards humans. It even welcomed Terry as a representative. I cannot confirm or deny it, but there are growing numbers of Hawk operatives attached to this school. The Headmaster's secret file will probably answer some of your questions. Oh, you got it open. Thank you. That should speed things up for a little. Let's look inside. The human representative. To help humans and birds advance hand and feather towards a bright, happy future, we have decided to enroll one human in the school starting in the year 2187. They will be the human representative. The pandemic has long since ended, but we must nonetheless be cautious of the risk of infection with Su Sumatera influenza when making our selection. We will pick a strong, healthy 15-year-old human who displays hereditary assistance to Sum Sumatera influenza. Is it Sumatera or Sumatra? Maybe it's Sumatra influenza. The human representative. This is talking about Terry, no matter how we look at it. 2187. 
That's when we enrolled here. Come on, let's read the rest. The chosen individual will be a symbol of human concession, to wit, a hostage for birds. The representative is to die at the school, the entire campus will be sealed off, and all the birds inside will be given to the humans as prisoners. The seal will be lifted 12 hours after the death is confirmed, and the birds will be delivered to the humans. The school will be declared an extra-territorial zone, and avian protests of any human reprisal will not be tolerated. If Karen is to die, so her death was connected to the dome after all, and... The important part of this is the final gruesome exchange. Basically, if anything happens to Karen, the representative of humanity, then the entire school takes the blame. So it would seem. They trap us in here to give the humans time to arm themselves. The dome will open within a few hours, but what awaits us outside is a horde of bloodthirsty monkeys. How humorous. It's not humorous at all! So, this was the true face of her enrollment here. I rather think that the whole thing was arranged to widen the divide between humans and birds from the start. Indeed, things here go deeper than we ever realized. As you know, the school's public stance is very liberal on the human cohabitation issue. In fact, the school's principal financier, Ichijo Group, has been heavily involved in the human charities for the past 20 years. I have investigated the history of St. Pigeonation extensively and have confirmed that it was founded with the ideal coexistence with humans. But the Hawk Party has been sending agents here for a long time, eating away at the system like a dreadful virus. We have had information about the document for some time. It is real. It's kind of hard to take all this on at once, just to make sure. For 12 hours, the dome will remain closed. During that time, humans will gather to take revenge. And then... When the dome opens, they will likely kill every bird in sight. And with that, another era of war between birds and humans will begin. The students who got shot when he flew out of the hatch, they all... There are already humans waiting outside there with guns. She was discovered this morning, and the dome was raised soon after. So, the time is not from when she died, but when her death is confirmed. The evacuation was about two hours ago. Yeah, it was right at the start of second period, around 10 o'clock. So we have until 10 p.m. before we're all killed. You seem really calm, Sakuya. Even after watching some birdie get shot. Remain calm, Kawara. Do nothing but worry about what's going wrong, and you'll be next. I do not know who did this, but they will rue the day they decided to tangle with the label. What time is it, Mr. Leon? This past two. We have only eight hours, then. Eight hours. We have to find an escape route in eight hours or we'll be killed, but if we go outside, we'll be killed anyway. Just getting outside isn't enough. There has to be another way. My dictionary does not contain the word impossible. We shall continue the investigation. Very decisive, Sakya. I'm glad you're here. Hmm. Don't attempt to flatter me, Kawara. I'm not. I mean it. Oh my god. Okay. There were like all these like hints of all these politics before, but now it's like explicit in this plotline. Like, this is what we were meant to be finding all along. We found the connection between Karen's death and the dome. There is clearly some sort of intrigue behind it all. I don't want to die without knowing the truth. Okay. I, it's like past the normal break time. I really have to pee. Um, okay. Okay. I'm back. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Keep going. We better go now. We have to solve this before we run out of time. You are a promising lad. If I were to give you a piece of advice, well, don't miss the forest for the trees. Don't miss the forest for the trees. Sakia, there's one more file. Um, Operation Hatoful? What is that? I don't know, but that's what it says on here. Hey, yo, Hatoful, that's the title. That's the title. That's the title. It's the title. Yeah. The bottom is half torn off. We can't read it at any rate. I don't feel like it has anything hopeful anyway. There's an awfully friendly name for a confidential document, though. Stupid Japanese. Look, it's spelled hurtful. Whoa, it is. I thought Hatoful just meant heartful. That's what I thought too. That's what. I, but it means hurtful. It means hurtful boyfriend. What the fuck? Thank you, learner. Thank you. This ending is way longer than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> 
I suspect that we will find many of these things to come quite hurtful. Right. It was probably something important, given that it was a locked file. Indeed. I hadn't heard of this hurtful thing before, but you might want to look into the school's history. The school's history? At any rate, the headmaster must have known what would happen after Terry died. The escape hatch was no doubt put in place to allow him alone to escape. Which means that maybe he had a guarantee of safety for himself. I don't want to suspect an elder, but it does look that way. Everything's going going on here is connected. We may well find something of use in the records. Right. Let's go look in the school's documents then. I'm not the only Dove agent in this school. I'm sure the others will help you as well. Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah, Yuya is also a Dove agent, right? We learned that before in his storyline. Time to go look for more clues. Maybe we should write them in the notes first. Okay, I'm gonna save. Mr. Leone said to investigate the school's history, but how? Where do we look? The headmaster's office at the library, perhaps. But we already looked through the headmaster's office. Did you see anything like school records or anything? I would have thought they would be there, but I don't recall seeing any. The library it is, then. And the mystery we have left to solve is... The bloodstained stranger Okoso going into the infirmary yesterday. Exactly. What would the headmaster dying, an army of gun-toting bipeds showing up to turn us all into jerk chicken? And, <laughs> and at all, I almost forgot about it. Mm, jerk chicken sounds really good. And the scarecrow, we still don't know where he came from. He appeared along with the dome. It's no doubt connected to it. If we continue to investigate it, I'm sure his origins will become clear. And Terry's gruesome end is the best clue we have. For now, we should forget the puppet and chase after the bloodstained bird. Right. That's decided then. We'll go to the library to read up on the school's history and we'll look for that bird. It probably doesn't matter, but which should we do first? Okay, let's go to the library. The library. I wonder if Nageki's at the gym yet. Nageki? Who? I met him in the library earlier. He stayed behind. An unusually dense individual, to be sure. The library is a little ways away from here. We spend some of the time jogging through the hallways. I've been trying to ignore it, but the dim light makes the library even creepier than the rest of the school. Getting hung up over little things in this time is like a sign of weak nerves. Really? Well then, where are the school's documents? Mm, probably not where just anybody can look at them. They're probably somewhere in the back then. How dull. Come let us search. Right. Books, books, and none of them are what we're looking for. I was hoping it would be in this corner, but apparently not. And here, a line of incredibly dusty encyclopedia. That's odd. There were nine of them. Volume six is volume six is missing. Oh, that's weird. Did some birdie misfile them? Anyway, Saint Pigeonation's history. It's not back here with the large volume, so maybe it's a smaller book. It's not here. Huh? You never left. Is that a problem? Well, not really, but I told you earlier there's an emergency going on. Mm hmm. I can't tell if he doesn't realize what's going on or if he just doesn't care. The records. Huh? Keep looking there, and you'll never find them. So, you know where they are? Yep. Well, since he's here even now, I imagine he basically lives in here, so it's hardly surprising that he knows where to find things. I don't have much time. Could you tell me where to find them? By request. Request? You don't know what that is. He gazes at me with eyes like black holes of cosmic disdain. You can only get them by request not kept out here. Then where are they kept? Behind the reception desk in the back. It's not locked, so go ahead. There are a number of bookshelves behind the desk, it's true. Thank you, Nageki, really. Don't worry about it. You've been mumbling to yourself ever since we split up. Please try to remain in charge of your faculties, Koara. Oh, sorry, I was talking to him. Talking to the bookshelves. Surely there are better uses for your energy. No, Nageki was telling me where to find the- There's no one else here. Cease this bizarre melodrama.
Garyo to Nagaki's a ghost. What is he talking about? Nagaki's standing right next to me. It's not like he's behind a shelf or something. I was worried he was a figment of my imagination for a minute, but he just told me where to find the records. But Sakuya, let's find out. Can I ask you something, Nagaki? Yes. Are you hallucination? If I was, that would mean you're asking a hallucination, whether or not he's a hallucination. Y yeah, that's right. It does seem a little weird. Does it matter? Maybe I am, or maybe I'm not. That doesn't answer anything. This doesn't usually happen. I've never been able to talk to a bird I've just met before. I think I will remember everything soon. What about you? Have you found the thing you forgot yet? Huh? Nagaki, do you know something about that? Huh? He disappeared. The thing I forgot. That's exactly what the doctor said too. Why did Nanaki know about that? It's just coincidence, or was it? Am I forgetting something important about all of this? I don't think I can dismiss him as just a hallucination. Request only books. The shelf. Looks like it. I see a lot of the same books as were in the headmaster's office. Technology of St. Pigeonations. This. Let's see. 2080. 2180. Founding of the school. Same year. Ichijo Hitsugu inaugurated as headmaster. 2180. Much more recent than I thought. Only eight years. I hadn't known either. Aside from that, it's all transfer student records and sports scores. Is there really any clues in here? Wait, Sakuya, look at this. 2183 medical centers shut down due to fire. Medical centers? Does the school have something like that? I, I don't know. There's no mention of it in the student guide. I suppose it was never reopened. Does it say anything else? Mm, right here. Image from the fire. The book presents us with a new mystery, as if to taunt our inability to hold all those we already have. A new sort of mystery. 2183 Medical Center shut down due to fire. Freshman Fujiro Nagaki died in the basement where the fire started. Didn't I just hear that name? The exact same, but that's... Nagaki. Died five years ago. Then what is the Na Nagaki I keep meeting today? He didn't deny that he was a hallucination. Sakuya couldn't see him, which means he's... A ghost. Don't say such dreadful things. It's unscientific. The... Oh no. French. Who today? Bal Balivernais? I have no idea. That's probably not even close. Sorry, anyone French listening. We're betting our lives on this search, you know. I won't have any occult rubbish brought into it. But I think he knew something. If he is the same bird, then he could be the key to solving the mystery. Do you intend to rely on some invisible ghost? There are limits, Kawara. Oh my god. If I spent some time looking for him in the library, but I couldn't find him. He's always found me, rather than the other way around. I'll just have to wait for him to show up again. Bloodstained bird. <gasps> the angel! Do you have an idea? I, I feel like I should. It's not something I'd encounter normally, but for some reason... Don't I know somebody like that? Vague as always. Do we have a time limit here? We must not fall behind. I know, I know. If I remember what it is, I'll say it right away. Maybe Yuya was still in there. Let's go ask him again. He did say he was there until he returned home. If anyone went in, he should have seen them. However, he said that he saw nothing out of the ordinary. If what said is true, then he is lying. Which would mean that the doctor was lying, too. Yeah, we know that because he literally asked what the doctor's answer was before he answered. So obviously he was lying. Very well. Yuya. Salutations. How goes the investigation? Well, just who do you think I am? Yeah, yeah. Unlike me, you're a very capable bird. Yuya, we want to ask you something. Oh? I'll answer anything that doesn't violate my privacy, so ask away. Did you really not see anything yesterday after school? I'm not sure what you mean. I thought the doctor and I already verified each other's innocence. We were in the infirmary the entire time. We talked to San earlier. 
said that he saw a blood-stained stranger going into the infirmary yesterday. Did you see anything like that? Um, nope, sorry. Could you be the blood-stained bird yourself? Yikes, no. As you can see, I'm not hurt anywhere at all. Besides, he said he saw the bird going into the infirmary. He said going to the infirmary, not going into the infirmary, right? Yeah, he did. Anyway, I didn't say any see anything. There's not much more I can say, right, doctor? Yes, that's right. No one can came yesterday. I don't think we'll find anything more here, Sakuya. Let's move on. Indeed. Did these two really not see anything yesterday? If there had actually been some bloodstained stranger, then that would mean that Yuya and the doctor are hiding something. They're definitely hiding something. I mean, obviously. Holy fuck. They're so suspicious. Where do we... Mm, the medical center seems like a good place to go now. Indeed. Where is it? That's the problem. I've never heard of it before either. Sounds rather large. I wouldn't expect it to be hard to find. The record book says the fire broke out in the basement, and if the building burned to the ground, it would have said so. It should still be there then. Oh, it should still be there then. Assuming it wasn't demolished, are there any unused buildings on the campus? Unused buildings? Mm, oh yeah, that old hall. Old hall? That's what we call it. Back by the gate. It's not, and it's not used for, what's wrong? School hasn't even been around for 10 years. What reason does it have for having an old hall? Uh, now that you mention it, that is kind of strange. Come on, guide me there. Oh, come guide me there. He didn't say on, whatever. This is it. It doesn't really look like a medical center. It's pretty much the same as the main building, yeah. Looks like the door is locked. Then we shall break it down. You're starting to sound like a delinquent, Sakia. What? What did I say? Don't worry about it. We'd probably be suspended for breaking here, but this is an emergency. We don't have a choice. <coughs> it's awfully dusty in here. It has been left unused for five years. Mm, it appears they didn't leave much behind. Everything's empty. I wonder if they cleared everything out when they sealed the building. This looks pretty much the same as the main building. Did we come here for nothing? Let's look around a little more. Look, the door still has a sign on it. I guess it was the reference room. I do not relish the prospect of wandering around this mausoleum of schoolrooms, but very well. It's even dustier in here. The shelves are marked with dates. Perhaps they once held medical records. There's nothing left now, though. And... Operation Hatoful. Huh? Among the rows of dates, sure enough, there's a shelf labeled Operation Hatoful. Empty as well. It would have been asking too much to hope to find anything anyway. Operation Hatoful. I wonder what it is. Who knows? Something put in place along with the human representative business, so no doubt it was nothing good. Is Operation Hatoful connected to the medical center? If... What if it's the source of the mystery we're tangled in now? My head hurts. The only things left are <laughs> archaic medical journals. Huh? It's the encyclopedia. An odd place to keep one. Wait, look at the volume numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. What? Does this unpleasant arrangement hold some meaning? I saw them like this in the library, too. A bunch of old encyclopedias. Yeah. Can I look at these for a bit? Do as you please. The ones in the library had the same binding. And in the place of volume 9, there's an extra copy of volume 6. Look, this copy of volume 6 has a library sticker on it. Perhaps it came from the library then. Someone must have brought it here when the medical center was still open. They probably switched it with volume 9. An unpleasant piece of mischief, mischief to be sure. Yeah. The other volumes all seem as they should. There probably isn't anything in the extra copy of Volume 9, but maybe we should go see if it came from here. When we get back to the main building, let's go check the library. Provided it isn't a mere waste of time. We leave for the reference room and continue our investigation of the medical center. We've searched the entire first floor and have yet to find what we're after. The stairs into the basement. 
Apparently, the fire that closed this building five years ago started in the basement, but we haven't found it yet. The elevator doesn't have a button for it either. How do we get in? Perhaps we can't anymore. Huh? Look at that wall. Wall? It looks like a normal concrete wall to me. Don't you see it? Stupid peasant. What about it? Think back to the building's exterior, and on the second floor, there shouldn't be a wall here. It's small, but there's a space behind there. It must have been sealed off after the fire. Now that he mentions it, this wall is slightly different color than the rest, which would make sense if it had been put up later. So the stairs are beyond there? It seems likely. It isn't... A, isn't this a bit much for cleanup of some fire? We probably won't be able to break this down. If we can't get in there, I doubt we'll find anything of more use here. At least we found the thing from the headmaster's document again. Yeah, let's head back. Do you hear something? The scarecrow? Yes. Someone else just broke in here. This could be bad. We're at a dead end, with concrete all around. We need to get somewhere out with a window fast. Run. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. Stop. Uh, it's here. Wait, calm down, Kawara. It's small. <gasps> yeah, it's the angel. I knew it. So it is. Too small to be the scarecrow. Huh? Aren't you from 2-2? I am the crimson fallen angel. Angel. I knew it. The manga club boy from the class next door. He's famous around the school for being a nutcase. But what is he doing in here? I think I'm going to have a headache. Hexterus, Melodia... Funeris. Who, me? Good for you, Kawara. He came all this way to give you a title. It's not good at all. Nothing but trouble will come of it. I don't know why you came here, Angel, but it's dangerous. We're supposed to be in the gym with everybody else, so come on, let's go back. I am not allowed to rest, not until I have fulfilled my duty. In accordance with the Pact of Old, I must seal you here now. Texatrice, Melodia, Funeris, Undertaker. Undertaker? If that's it, then, um... So the time has come at last. I will not be now s stopped now, Crimson Angel of Judica. Come! Oh my god. Oh my god. Cr angel, Crimson Fallen Angel appeared. Angel used Dark Void Shockwave. What? Oh my god, it's another fight. Holy shit. Ryota's turn. Okay, um, let's use Blue Moon Slash. Okay, Blue Moon Slash, 78 damage. Cease this jerk acting, you wretched imbeciles. Oh, I have a fuck ton of vitality still, even though I'm a bird now and not a human. 260 damage, oh my god. 295 damage, what the fuck? Oh my god. Why am I beating him up? Huh? I'm shocked, Kawara, to think even you would go along with that farce. What? He disrupted my territory. I got carried away by Angel before I even noticed. Influencing the very reality of his surroundings is a frightful power indeed. You lose on. What did you come here to do? After what you just did, I think you may be our prime suspect. I came here to do but one thing. I must follow the demon spores. A whole new variety of what the heck are you talking about? Perhaps you could explain in normal Japanese. Your dialect is somewhat opaque. I don't think it's just his dialect, Sakuya. The end is calling me. That is all. That this is the cross I must bear. He stares off into space as if gazing at something far away. Maybe that basically means he's a thrill seeker. So, you are a moth allured by the candlelights, Luzon. No. I am stained in crimson, clad in night, unforgiven. My eternal blood seal calls me to purgatory. Uh, more crazy talk. It's not exactly a blood seal that blood-stained chest is just the way Bleeding Heart's plumage looks. Oh. What is it, Kawara? Blood-stained chest. Uh, Sakuya, do you think maybe the blood-stained stranger Sansaw was... Angel, where were you yesterday after school? What were you doing? Battling minor demons of Ball and following the demon spores. Could you rephrase that? Rufa, the tree of blight, called out to me. He's asking you to say it using words we understand. Hollowed magician of white, 
Your anger now. It is the power of the demon spores. I think it's the power of you, Angel. Ugh, I must compromise. I was in the place the ignorant may refer to as the infirmary. I knew it! Duh! <laughs> we knew this, we knew. Okay. Oh, I think we need to talk to you. Come! And so we left the medical center, Sakuya dragging Angel behind him. Cuckoo! This one, this is the bloodstained stranger Okasan saw. That's that then. We need to know what you did yesterday. Did you go to the infirmary? If I could, I would have. But only the chosen one can stop the demon spores. In other words, he didn't. Useless. The gate was sealed with the power of darkness. However, Edelblau did venture within. Edel Edelblau? Who is that? Explain in terms known to sane individuals, please. The Apostle of the Blue Sky, Edel Blau. She also goes by Terry Karen. Karen went into... What? It's me. I am Edel Blau. Karen was in the infirmary yesterday after school, but the doctor and Yuya said no one came and nothing happened. They're lying. Fourth class in. Okay. Fifth class. Oh my god, how many parts is this? 